The third word is a word out of the Nicene Creed. It's the fourth word out of the Nicene Creed about what it means to be church. And it's the word apostolic. One holy Catholic and apostolic church. Let me extract that word apostolic briefly to say apostolic We have understood that to mean that we believe what the apostles taught about Jesus. Yes, that's true. But secondly, apostolic literally means the sent people of God. When Jesus called his first disciples and they did not have a college degree, they had not been to Rock Valley Community College. They likely had not even graduated from Harlem High School but rather may have had at best an eighth grade home education, if that. They had a vocation. Peter knew how to fish. Andrew knew how to fish. James and John knew how to fish. And there was no college education that was going to teach them about fishing. They had not been to seminary. They were not ordained. All they were was called of God. And one of the first things Jesus did when he called them was... He sent them out to teach what he taught and to do what he did, to tell others about the kingdom of God, that God loves you, knows you, and wants to break into your life. Got it? Apostolic means sent. So people of God, you are the church, right? The church is the people who are sent not just the people who gather together. What matters is how you are living out the kingdom's principles in your life and telling others, even when you don't have it all figured out yet, about Jesus. Don't wait until you've read the whole book. Don't wait until you've taken the whole course online. Jesus says, go and do. Auto mechanics, how do you learn it? Do you learn it from a book? Oh, there's stuff you learn from a book. But I well imagine the best way you learn auto mechanics is by rolling up the sleeves. You show me, now I do. Isn't that right? That's how baking works. That's how cooking works. Don't just tell me, just don't crack open the book and say it's here's the recipe. Show me exactly what you do, and then I learn from you. That's tactile hands on learning. That's what Jesus demonstrated. So church, you've heard the message today. Because the fourth point is this. That God loves you and God loves the world. Simple message. You're accepted in God's sight because of what Christ has done for you. You've heard it many times. You probably even repeated it in your car on the way home unless you drove here alone and then you were talking to yourself. We've heard the message. God calls us to see how it makes a difference for us because the power of Christ is made known in our world today. People discover that God loves them and cares for them only by the people who are willing to tell and to show that God loves them. But we have to be able to do both, both show it and tell it. So four points. We are the church. Secondly, the kingdom of God has come. We are living in God's kingdom as we live out his purpose in our life. Thirdly, we're an apostolic people. Christ sends you. Christ sends me. I was not the most powerful witness to George when he came out of his coma. He dang near had a heart attack when he saw me. Because he thought he was dead. But his wife became a witness to him as he came home from that hospital. Others, neighbors, became a witness to him as he came home from the hospital. And fourthly, this message is a message of love. This is why Christ came to the world. But he sends you, and he sends me. So what matters, church, is not just that we come together today, but that as we're sent out, that we know that this week, this Sunday afternoon, this Monday morning, this
this Monday afternoon. Your church. Are you willing to be church and to tell others about the kingdom of God and the love that Christ has for them? I trust you will. Because that's what Christ commands us to do. It isn't just a suggestion. But this is what it means to be people. When we've experienced the goodness of his love, how can we help but tell and be the people of God? So may God empower you to be the apostolic people, the sent ones. And may you know with certainty today that as you come to the table of Christ Jesus, he loves you. He forgives you. And here's another chance as we go back out to face the challenge of being his people in the world. Amen? And amen. Let's stand and affirm together our faith in and through the words of the Nicene Creed.